Alright, hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ratchet & Clank 2. In the last episode, we finished up... What's it? The desert level. And... <laughs> bad description. And headed over here to a testing facility where I failed pretty hard. And pretty much where we were, I'm assuming this is right at the end of the level, yep. Pretty much where I failed last time and we're gonna talk to somebody. Nobody. I mean nobody gets by the mathematician. I guess all the good names were taken. Watch your mouth, Zero, before the mathematician subtracts your head from your shoulders. Sir, as a fellow number cruncher, could I please ask what this is all about? That moon's where we divide losers from winners before adding them to the Megacorp games. There's a challenger up there ready to reduce you to nothing. Hmm. This technology looks familiar. Perhaps I could. Sweet. Think you yep. can get us to that moon? And he's giant again, if you guys remember that. Well, I guess it did happen in the first game, but you guys would probably remember it from the third game. Because that's what I uh, let's played before this. And so we're going to the double orbit in Giant hey, Clank to go beat this us? guy up. Thieves for less guy. And we're in the controls real quick. Circle fires missiles, square punches, 12. What? Triangle, not 12. Fires bomb strike, extra jump, L2, R2 strafe. Okay, so. Go. Get this battle going. What is this? Oh, yeah. So that, that helps. So. And we're pretty much just beating this guy up, it looks like. And I think you, I think you might get it, I don't remember if it's in this game or one of the previous. If you beat all this stuff up, you get a skill point or something. Are there skill points in this game? I know there's skill points in the third game, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. And there's helicopters and stuff everywhere. Let's just go ahead and start taking this guy out. And these stupid helicopters. Alright, where did he go? There he is. And you could just keep keep coming at him uh, until he gets up in the air like that. And you're gonna have to shoot him. Trying to avoid my attacks there, buddy. Alright. Got the strafe going. Looks like he doesn't want to be punched throw one of those. does quite a bit, so that helps. And just be like pummeled by all this other stuff. Looks like there's some help over here though. Yeah. Get rid of that helicopter. Just follow him around. Beat all these buildings up. Although come to think of it, I don't think it's a very ratchet and clank thing to do to beat up random buildings. There he is. He's like sneaking around behind us. Oh, that does hell a lot. Damage. Got help there though. And where'd he go? He's gotta like follow him around. Kind of annoying. Ah, getting owned. Punch through some more buildings. That's where all the health and stuff is, so it's helpful to do it just just for the health, because you're gonna be taking hits, obviously. And because you can only hit him a couple times before uh, he goes and retreats, and just a ton of helicopters, which is annoying. I always, you know, I don't mind like intervals of grunts at. Uh, during boss battles, but it always annoyed me when they had the grunts going during the boss battle. Like, come on, bro. Can't even fight your own battle. Okay. So, get rid of these helicopters. There's some missiles over here as well as some health. I'm gonna get rid of these guys behind me because they're quite annoying. Um, 
And there we go. These helicopters are so annoying. You want a piece of me? Bring it on. And there's more health right here. For ah, he's like all up in my grill right there. I think these missiles automatically lock on too, so that's nice. Going. Don't get hit by that. I got hit by that. And it's not helpful in the least bit. This is an area I haven't destroyed yet. Get some more health from there. Now, uh, where'd he go? There he is. I think punching him might do a bit more damage than just shooting these, sniping these rockets across the level. Get some more stuff from this. Ah, oh, <laughs> accidentally punched him. And get him again as he retreats even more. There he is. He's got like nowhere to run when I destroyed all the buildings. Well, he does, because he runs backwards like the entire time, but... There's some missiles. Hopefully I got him at least... Knows, maybe? There he is. And got health. He's just... He's just like prolonging his death now. There we go. And we fly back on Clank. Ratchet holding on for dear life, if I had to imagine. I would not want to be attached to the back of giant Clank flying like that fast, <laughs> holding on for dear life. And Clank's back to normal size. We better get something for this. You're going to the Megacorp Games! Welcome to Megacorp Games, sponsored by Megacorp. Okay, Megacorp contestants, get ready to grapple with our Megacorp Gladiator team. And if you survive that, enter the Megacorp Battle Arena with our Mega Spider Body Arm Hunt Adaptifying Mega Cage Match. <laughs> then open the throttle for the all Megacorp Hover Bike Race, brought to you by Team Megacorp Racing. Hustle Indigenous Population Not Owned, endorsed, sponsored, supplied, advocated, or even liked by Megacorp. <laughs> Approach to your own risk. The Megacorp Games! Keep it Mega! Mega! So we've got the uh, coordinates for this planet. Uh, what's and the mathematician guys disappeared. Looks like we can take the taxi back. I believe uh, there's one more way we could go on this planet to go check some stuff out. So we'll head back. I believe I have enough for what the heck. <laughs> I believe I have enough for that armor now. And. Here we go. This is our stop. Oh, uh, there we go. Let me jump off. Jeez. Yeah, we can enter the facility. So let me go grab this new armor. And we will enter the facility. Let's see. New armor. Hooray. We have like terra fiber. Well, I didn't read what that said fast enough, apparently. Oh, I should have gotten ammo. I'm going to go back and get ammo real quick. That would be a good idea. So I was running out of ammo in that last part. And I have to sneeze. I'm gonna try not to do that. Okay, okay. Now let's head in. I believe I uh, remember this this part and it's a little Sly Cooper-esque. I think, can't you throw something? Maybe just go around. Oh, shoot. Maybe I should just run past it. <laughs> uh, let me get out a different weapon for these guys. Oh, I can't, I can't see him. I'll probably just die to these things. It's very Sly Cooper-esque. And essentially you just don't want to get in the spotlight like I just totally did. Or it'll start attacking you, but it wasn't very locked on. From what I remember, these things locked on better, but 
Maybe not. And oh, we got a glider. Um, glider pad? No, we don't. Oh, that's later. I believe there is some sort of glider, glider uh, track in here. But I guess we'll see. Uh, okay. Um, I'll get the blitz, the blitz cannon out for these guys. I think like if the enemy is attacking you while you're trying to play like laser jump rope here. This level looks really cool in the HD. It's really bright. The colors are really vibrant. Oops. <laughs> Just run up the elevator. I seriously, when I played this as a kid, I swear they would lock on to you a lot better than that. Or it's, or it's just really sad that I couldn't avoid them as a kid, I guess. And he was protecting a swing shot. A swing shot device. And we've got some dynamo here. So let's dynamo it up. Somehow I just got two? Always afraid I'm gonna run out of time. And we made it. Going up. Maybe this is where we get the glider pad. And let's check out what's going on over here. Okay. This must be the core terminal. Let's see what we can get from it. The power appears to be out in this entire area. You're right. I better call a maintenance bot. Let's just follow him and fix it ourselves. Or we could just follow him, which we're yeah, we're gonna do on the guy. See, I knew there's something going on here. And what's that over there? And there's something, there's something else you can get here. There's some bolt or something. I don't remember, which I'm not, I'm not gonna try for right now. I'm just gonna try not to die like I just did, because the controls are inverted and I'm retarded <laughs> with inverted <laughs> controls. Okay. Go. Seriously, who glides inside? Let's get down a little bit lower. And up over here, I remember this was really hard for me as a kid, the glider missions were. Because I would like freak out and, whoa, shoot, freak out because of that. Yeah, probably because of that part. <clears throat> there was a... Uh... Sorry, I was like not paying attention right there. I'm really surprised I didn't crash. Uh, army of two that's what it was and uh, there was a glider thing kind of like this but like a real um, more realistic looking glider and um, I couldn't figure it out because uh, oops press the wrong button just because I thought you had to use the control pad but they had <laughs> utilized the motion or the What's that called with the controller where you use the controller, you physically move the controller around to turn it? For some reason I can't remember what that's called now, but I just like could not figure it out and I was so angry. So I was just trying to do the glider mission just um, uh, by just going completely straight and couldn't quite make it there. I don't know what it is about that incline there. Alright, time to try this again. I could see where this this could be a possible issue. <laughs> it like tr it tricks you out with those like moving things on the side when I I don't think I don't think you can actually hit them. Like you can hit them. I don't want to say you can't hit them, but um, it's not like oh. Uh, Man, I barely made that. Oh, are you kidding me? I remember doing that as a kid too. I made it through this stupid tunnel thing. It's like the hardest thing and then just hitting, just freaking out on that part. Just gotta stay like, gotta stay calm. Calm, cool, and collective. I guess I'll, I'm already doing it again. <laughs> so 
I won't say I guess I'll do it again because obviously never mind. Not making any sense now. Alright, I got it this time. Okie doke. Oof. Jeez. I'm just gonna go over that. That was tough. And we've got a trespasser thing up here. Which I guess we'll go ahead and do. Or electrolyzer, whatever it's called. I can't I can't remember. And there's the first one. You gotta really have good peripheral to do this. Uh like not like that. Oops, I didn't press the try again button. <clears throat> Just all these mini game things taking me a bit. And two go through here and then we gotta turn it. Oh, I didn't see that. Let's try this again. One, two, and then this guy, and then this guy, and then this guy. That, that. Oh, I didn't press that one in time. Okay. I got it now. I got it. And one, two. It's gotta go back. It's gotta go back. That. There we go. And I believe that'll switch the power back on. Let's go back here. There's nothing back here. Oh, uh, there's a convenient teleporter back to the room we're in. Let's get the goods on that experiment. What the? I think I see the problem. What? Now even the computers are charging us? That's it. This galaxy blows. It really does. I guess I'll pay him. The full bladder reporting on Megacorp experiment number 13. This update is strictly classified. If you are watching this, you're fired. Early thinking held that the specimen was entirely docile in nature. Even overt provocation failed to incite it. But the late Dr. Putrid's son observed that natural levels of monster propanase in the experiment's bloodstream were triggering some remarkable changes. Attempts at neutralizing the specimen's violent tendencies were met with limited success. Our surviving staff recommend that the experiment be destroyed immediately at Megacorp's deep space disposal facility. Uh oh. The computer's log indicates that we were the first to view that recording. So Fizz Widget must not know. We've got to warn him. Yellow. Mr. Fizz Widget, you're safe. Sir, brace yourself. We just saw a video of your experiment eating its handlers. I repeat, it eats its handlers. Ah, yes. Uh, low fat, extra foam, no sprinkles. Mr. Fizz Widget, do you copy? Anyone handling the experiment must exercise the utmost caution. No, no. Decapitated. Hmm? What? Oh, yes, yes. Exercise my frontmost cushion. Ah. Sir, your experts recommend that the experiment be liquidated. We will meet you at your deep space disposal facility. Ah, yes, my cheap date proposal facsimile. It's heavily guarded, so make sure to use the password. Which is, uh, no, uh, Quartastic. Yes, uh, uh uh oh that doesn't seem like a like the password of a uh, mr fidge widget but i don't know we won't find out this episode uh because we're gonna have to go ahead and end it here but next episode we'll be going to the deep space disposal facility uh or whatever mr fizz widget called it um i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you liked it, go ahead and comment, leave a like, any of that stuff is super great. And for more content like this, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching again guys, and I'll see you for the next episode.